Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still laughing at the right-wing House Speaker debacle that's so stalled at this point it seems like it's an ode to Mitch McConnell. The artist formerly known as Kitara is now charged with 23 felonies. Yes, there is a new indictment for George Santos de Volder Goldberstein. And to distract from that, he had a meltdown at the Capitol with a theatrical performance that's up there with Kevin Sorbo and Kyle Rittenhouse. Carrie Lake launched a campaign for governor, and she's not interested in building a wall. She just wants to build a real-life filter so people aren't stunned when they see her in person. Ugh. Lumpy Pillow CEO Mike Lindell's latest plan to save his company is to hold a telethon. Yes, the Mar-a-Lago member with a private jet plans to take calls from donors, and if the event goes as smoothly as his announcement, it'll be awesome. I'll be getting to all of that and more, but first, this. He gets on the plane, and it was his birthday, and she looks at him. She goes, um, Grandpa, for your birthday, are you going to the trampoline park, and can I come? And I almost start crying, oh, and I'm not, I'm not that guy, but, you know, the, the level of innocence, you see this kind of, you know, hard, tough situation that, you know, these people will put him in to try and take him out. Mm -hmm. And then you see this innocence of this little, you know, girl looking at him on his birthday saying, hey, you know, Grandpa, can I please come to the trampoline park with you? And oh my God. Even if his schedule was totally open and every golf course in the world was just shut for maintenance, if he wasn't running for president to avoid prison and he faced zero lawsuits, he still would not be going to a trampoline park. I mean, that's more of a Matt Gates first date kind of place. And Eric, stop telling us you don't get weepy when there are so many receipts. It is pouring MAGA tears. I started this one-man show from zero a few years ago, and it continues to grow thanks to you. So laugh along with the good people in the comments while I mock the latest and stupid and more. Even though she still claims she really won the last election, Carrie Lake launched her bid to lose another one. This time, she's going for governor and branding herself the Mama Bear. Okay, so the place goes under attack. We're talking diehard style. Choose your fighter. Is it going to be man realizing what Mama Bear looks like in person? Front bum? Alice Cooper with a big gulp? Rebel with a sideways sign? Or did I forget to wear deodorant? Let me know in the comments. Here's what we're going to do. We had a caller the other night that said, why don't you have a telethon? Um, hold on here. I'm getting a call here. I'm sorry. I've been happy to you. Logan's going to have to call me back. All right. Well, while he's doing that, and we're going to have a big announcement as to the date of that telethon. In fact, I'm getting my calendar out so I can <clears throat> put it on my calendar. Because that's, that's going to be important that we have that planned. In the meantime, of course, let me show you real quick when I get there, MyPillow.com. There we go. I'm not plugged in, am I, guys? All right, MyPillow.com. Great job, fellas. Attempts to announce a telethon, and Tom Selleck's slow cousin can't get his mic working, and Dollar Store Max Hedrum's computer is not even plugged in. You can't make it up. You would think that by now they would just have this figured out just a little bit, but Brandon's putting on the microphone during the show. The studio is in his house, and he still struggles to make it on time. Thank you. I see every tip from pennies to dollars. They are hugely appreciated and help make this show possible. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks with this button. And please, take two seconds after this video to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. These things are free and help the show grow. Thank you. Hey, hey Logan, can you put us to the side while we're talking about this, please, on both of us? Your camera's off. You need to turn your camera back on. Who's off? You. No, it's not off. Yeah. Go go to the screens, Logan. There we go. Yeah, there he's. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, my it's not uh, it's not working here. So okay. We're gonna call you right back. I'll do a plug and call you right back. Okay. Do go apply. We'll go right back to the screen, everybody. All right, so we're going to go to my pillow real quick while we get Mike re set up. Well, if this is how things go with a Skype call, can't wait to see what happens when multiple phone lines are open and Mike has to play whack a mole with all those big donor calls. The thing is, when Lindell does get callers, him and Brandon spend most of their time putting out the number. They rarely get anyone calling in. And then when they do, it's often one of the same lumpy pillow superfans 
or a new long-time, first-time, last-time caller that makes Lindell look even less educated. So when the lines are open, it'll be interesting to see the call level that they actually get and who phones in. Good evening, I'm Tucker Carlson, and I get my facts from real people, like Ted Cruz, because he's a lawyer. He went to law school, the school of law. He was born in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and probably definitely maybe had something fun going with Lauren Boebert. Oh, I ate one of your pork sliders. Oh, I think it's coming back up. What am I going to do? <laughs> Better be careful. Don't want to melt that Cuban igloo. Ted Cruz tweeted that Biden took days to say the U.S. stands with Israel, but a press conference that aired on television, on cable television, on the very channel that fired me, on that press conference, Joe Biden said, let there be no mistake, the United States stands with the state of Israel. And this was live just hours after. Huh? Who do we believe? the time-stamped live news and the government statements, or the senator who sends wild tweets to promote his podcast. So I believe Senator Cruz, and I also believe Senator Tuberville, whose airplane incident was intentional and clearly meant to mock Joe Biden for his own struggles descending stairs. Was he constantly like telling you guys how to behave or was he kind of more hands off? He was amazing. Um, I tell a story all the time, but I walk into his room every morning, give him a kiss before school. Eric, no drinking. No drugs, no smoking. Every single day. I'm four years old. Dad, what the hell is drinking? Like, I, I, <laughs> you, know, you talk about like apple juice, right? Yeah. No, like, what are drugs? I had no idea. But every single day, no drinking, no drugs. And then he went into Don Jr.'s room, handed him a rolled up 20, a pack of Marlboros, and a fifth of vodka, and told him, This is going to make your day totally terrific. Go get him, Don Jr. This is New York. Hey guys, former girlfriend of Gavin, Kimberly Gilfoyle. How that happened, how Kimberly manages to uh, look like she puts makeup on with her feet. <laughs> you have a guy, the son of Donald Trump, <laughs> someone who spent most of their life dreaming about his sister, and now I've got a sore below. Kushner does not want me near her at all. Uh, so he gets the Saudi billions and gets to sleep with Ivanka, and I'm stuck with Paul Stanley in a Bon Jovi wig, okay? In the latest indictment for George Santos Katara Goldbergstein, prosecutors allege the first time congressmen stole donor identities, used their credit cards to make over 40000 in charges, and transferred some of the funds to both his own personal bank account and the campaign. This comes on top of the fact that the government has accused Santos of falsely claiming to the FEC that he'd loaned his campaign $500,000 when he hadn't loaned it anything. And in fact, he had less than my pillow does in the bank. Officers, this is the gentleman that was accosting me when I had a two month old baby in my hands. You came in Steve. my personal space. And then I immediately yelling, stepped away. Yelling, 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 yelling. Congressman Santos, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing to call for the end of Nothing. Israeli? What are you doing about the terrorists destroying Israel? What about the terrorists from Hamas that tried to defend in this building? It's a foreign. All right, maybe this is just for my British viewers, but when I see Santos in this maroon blazer, I just can't help but think of the pub landlord. Anyhow, this is just bizarre, over-the-top, and pure theatrics straight out of the Donald Trump playbook. Make a lot of noise to distract from what's really going on in your life. Like, why did he have a baby? I wouldn't let this career criminal pathological liar look after Lauren Boebert's emotional support hamster, let alone a human. This is pure bonkers, and it truly is theatrics because his case that the location of the argument is somehow sacred is total nonsense because he was totally fine with the insurrection there. And also, that's a lot of passion considering this just happened. Here are members of the House gathering together in vigil for the lives lost in Israel. And if we zoom in, we can find the guy who campaigned on being Jewish when he's not, and, and he's there, that he's not even holding a candle. He's just totally given up. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie. Again, good dude. 
our master plan to elect Donald J. Trump as House Speaker is going about as well as Tuberville trying to exit an airplane. I thought this was going to be like a slam dunk, you know, like uh, Lauren Boebert on the first date or a rejection letter from a Mike Lindell lawyer. Speaking of letters, my Georgia gremlin is not okay with Nancy Pepper Spray displaying an A on her shirt because the scarlet letter is reserved for adultery and MDG is the undisputed champion of cheating on men. She got so fired up over this, she even called it disgusting. And I'm like, okay, I gotta be fair. I reserve that word for the back of the VCR dusty cord tangled ginger root toes she's got going down there. Ugh, I get it. Times are tough. We're all struggling. But if Alex sees one micro dot of those podiatrist group chat worst case scenario appendages, we are talking crusty yellow arches so big that McDonald's is going to want a royalty, okay? Her skin looks like she stuffed each mortadella stump into a fun size pickle jar and let them brine over time and take on the shape before hammering the glass away to reveal a set of gelatin mystery meat looking logs that my dog the bounty hunter Taylor Green thinks is safe to call feet okay because what is the rule MTG the socks stay on hey you suck mega tears sleepy Joe is asleep at America's wheel and we need to his snooze on the most corrupt president of all time and get some real back in I don't even care if it's DeSantis or Trump any man is better than buh Biden mega tears Liberal prick. Mega tears. He went to law school, the school of law. He was born in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and probably definitely maybe had something handy going on with Lord Bobert. <laughs> Front bum. If he wasn't running for president to avoid prison and he faced zero lawsuits, he would still not be going to a trampoline park. I mean, that's more of a Matt Gates first day kind of place. <laughs> because the scarlet letter is reserved for adultery and MTG is the undisputed champion of cheating on men. <laughs> she is. She's been with everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on Sirius XM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.